Hey everyone, it's Cindy and welcome back to my channel or if it is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. So today's video is a replay of Feel Good Friday that took place on the 3rd of November and I was interviewing a client of mine called Carol Sherapanov and she was telling us all about her, some of the things we've worked on and uh, particularly her, um, she used to have a, a problem with sugar, she used to crave it a lot and it was also something she was intolerant to, caused her a lot of issues and she was telling about how I helped her get rid of that in 10 minutes and permanently made it so that she doesn't want sugar anymore. So if you want to find out more about how that happened, if you're intrigued to know how that could work for you perhaps, then just keep watching. everyone, it's Feel Good Friday and today I'm talking to my lovely client Carol Sharapanov who is going to be telling us all about how coaching has made a difference in her business and also a really interesting story about how we worked on some sugar stuff with her and uh, and uh, and now she just doesn't like it anymore and it's really cool. So um, if you're interested in that, keep watching. Uh, in case we haven't met yet, in case I haven't met you yet, my name is Cindy Davis, I'm the Feel Good Coach and I work with my clients on the, quite often on the personal stuff that's getting in the way of them uh, succeeding in their business as much as they would like to. So my clients come to me when they're really, um, they're doing okay but they, they want to be doing even better and they know that it's them that's holding them back. And I'm also starting to help other life coaches like me with all their marketing and everything because I've learned a lot over the years and, uh, and I want to be able to share that with people. So it's great to have you on the um, call. Let's get into talking to Carol. Let's bring her onto the screen. Uh, there we are. Oh, it's not showing your name. There we are. Hi, Carol. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. It's lovely to see you. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome. <laughs> so um, we're going to go through a few questions and uh, I'm going to find out all about what you've been up to and what's happened since we've been working together and hopefully it'll help other people to um, understand how coaching can um, really make a difference in their life and their business. So um, before we get into all of that, why don't you just tell everyone a little bit about who you are and, and what it is you do. Okay, my name is Carol Cherry Panoff. Um, I'm actually a independent sales consultant for a company called Norwex, which is all about reducing chemicals, creating safer havens, and getting rid of that gun cupboard under the sink. Um, so it's actually I'm a full t I'm mum as well, so I have an 11 year old and a seven year old who keep me very busy outside of school. So what I love about my job is it keeps complete flexibility, and I get to work. Um, around as kids so when the kids are off school or on their half term or some holidays I just do a few evenings a week and then when they're at school I work school school days as well um, it's it gives me the flexibility of doing what I want to do so it's it's basically helping people to reduce the chemical load in the home whether it be for home care skin care body care um, a whole range of different things and define people's expectations which is actually quite a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> love it and, uh, and I've been using some of your um, brilliant microfiber cloths, haven't I, for a little while. And, yeah. I, and I have to say, they are, I mean, I've used micro, microfiber cloths for years from, uh, you know, like from the supermarket and everything. And they're good, but yours are like a whole other level of good, aren't they? Yeah, it's, it's basically microfiber the next generation. <laughs> but then Norwex is actually a world leading company in microfiber. And uh, ours are a little bit special, a little bit different. And mm. they are special about what they can do. And they've... No, they've had a, the whole company's had a massive impact on my own family as well there are other families that I work with so yeah Fabulous. yeah brilliant okay so um let's talk about how you how we sort of got started together what was it that prompted you to look for a life coach what was why, why did you do that it sort of happened all on its own um I had a meeting with somebody else who's a coach and um, she suggested I do a Facebook live party to and the Facebook live and she invited you along and we got talking and that was sort of it it's sort of I'd never really thought about a life coach before then it mm. just sort of happened all on its own and I'm very glad it did <laughs> me too <laughs> there was no real there was no real thought behind it but then uh -huh. when we met up I thought actually this lady's saying a lot about what I've been feeling for a very long time mm. and this is now something that i now it was the right time to do something about it. Um, yeah, I'm so pleased I did. So pleased I did. I'm singing your praises all over. <laughs> oh, thank you. That means a lot. Um, and it's, it's it's interesting what you say because timing is really important, isn't it? Because you can you can know either know that you need to do something or be completely oblivious that you need to do something, but the timing still has to be right 
and yeah. and it has to be the right person, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's it's a case of you know, I'd never even thought about having a life coach, and then we happened to get talking um, after my Facebook live, and it just seemed to click. And then when we met up at Gloucester, it was like known this person for ages it's like this is just <laughs> completely natural this is like i want to work with this person so <laughs> let's just, let's just give it a go and see what happens <laughs> fabulous and i love it and it was kind of your your you straight away you were just there you just knew that that was the right thing to do and you just yeah. went away and made it happen so it was, it yeah. was great really good okay yeah. cool so um We've worked on, you know, like I've said uh, in my intro, we work on a, on the sort of emotional stuff mostly that's that's stopping stopping you with your business, and obviously I share marketing tips and stuff as well. But so, what difference has it made working on that emotional stuff? What's what what's that? Uh, has that impacted your business? I knew I had blocks, various various things for a number of years, and I'd I'd had to, I'd had counselling, I'd had this, I'd had that, and nothing had really what are those blocks I, mean, I was aware of them and the way I was thinking and through the work we did it changed everything because in less well, in sort of five minutes work with you I was able to change stuff that I'd had several weeks and weeks and weeks worth of counseling that had never even touched and I felt so much lighter in myself and it was just like um this massive weight had lifted off my shoulders mm. and so my head changed it was mm. like I was suddenly much more positive I've always been quite a positive bubbly person anyway but I'd always at the background there was a wah, 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 going at me wah, 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 about different things mm. and then all of a sudden wah, 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 wasn't there <laughs> and I was just like ooh Ooh, and no matter what my, my husband was like well about the business and everything else and so oh, then all of a sudden his attitude started to change towards me as well his mm. attitude just started to change towards my business mm. and all of a sudden things just started to take off mm-hmm. now I hit a really low patch um the same time I started working with you and I lost one of our team team members and I'd had it hadn't been an easy start to the business mm. but then since April it's just going in one direction it's just gone you know it's crazy how it's just changed but yeah. it's, it's come from within in the fact that the way I've been the way I was feeling not consciously feeling mm. I hadn't realized was holding me back and being mm. able to clear those emotional blockages and deal with so much stuff that actually has been hanging around for lots and lots of years some of them were to do with my health some of them were to do with some other stuff that had gone on when I was younger. Mm. Clearing all those blocks has just, oh, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say that your business has gone in, in that, that direction, um, what does that mean in real terms? So um, is it uh, increased income? Is it more team members? Is it uh, more customers? What, what's the difference? Well, my sales have gone from averaging Eight to eight hundred to a thousand pounds a month to averaging two to two and a half thousand pounds a month. Okay. And actually, bad. in July, I did over four thousand pounds, which just not quite where that one came from. I still, I sort of still scratch my head on that one. Not only that, my team have increased. My team, I've had so many people join my team since April. Mm. They're all really positive, really, really go, really strong within themselves, mm. and they're all working their businesses as well. It's just, it's all developing more than, yeah, if somebody told me 12 months ago, I would have been like, oh yeah, it'd be fantastic if that happens, but I'm I'm a bit sceptical, you know? Yeah. It has, it's just, so it's, it's financial, but it's also how easy I'm finding to get work. Mm. Just in the last two days, what were they, we're 3rd of November, yeah. and time I got home last night I'd already done over 600 pounds worth of sales this month wow wow my only on and it's they just like I'm walking into a room and people are coming up to me saying can I have this this and this can I have this yeah. this and this yeah 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 and it just people are just arriving almost that giving me almost almost that almost out of the ether I actually had somebody ring me up and say oh I've been told to give you a ring to what because I need this this and this I was like oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> And it just sort of happens. It's like the whole 
universe around me has changed. Right, yeah, yeah. And it's interesting, you made a couple of really good points there, and I'll see if I can remember what they were. The first one was about how um, uh, the, ch- the change in you has prompted this change in in what you're perceiving around you in, in, the, in your life. So mm-hmm. your husband's attitude to the business and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. People, you know, it being easy, people coming to you, which is what we all want in business, really. You don't want to be chasing people, you want people to be coming to you. So, I mean, it, it's a really key point that that's, that internal stuff really does impact the life that we have um, oh, massive stuff. impact yeah. massive mm. uh, and i think it's really um it's really good that you brought that up and what was the other thing there was something else you said oh it will come back to me later if it's important um <laughs> so, <laughs> if not you know who knows where that'll go um so that that's really really interesting that just by changing some blocks that you know we all know that we've got various blocks we're aware of some and then there's some that we're not aware of which is where people like me come in to help find them um but when we clear them it's that kind of it's that weight lift, lifting oh, off you massive. isn't it you know i remember one particular block you did you know and i sobbed like a baby in your living room for a good 10 minutes but then it was like it just disappeared yeah. And all that emotion and angst that had been around that situation was suddenly gone and mm. gone forever. It's, it's just, and that in itself was a massive, and you know, that had been hanging around for 30 years. Yeah. So to suddenly have that gone was just wow. <laughs> and, and for me, like it's a massive privilege to be able to do that for somebody, to to find out what that thing is that's been bothering you all this time and, and help you get rid of it quickly and easily and not, you know, have to go and talk about it for years on end, and, you yeah. know, to, 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 to deal with it, to be able to just be done with it. Yeah. Mm. Done, finished, move on. Yeah, move on, exactly. And it's just simply not there. Because, you know, you know um, from in our sessions that, uh, you know, I'm like a dog with a bone and I'll, I'll, I'll double, triple check that it's really gone. In the nicest possible sense, of course. <laughs> <laughs> because I want to check that I've done a really good yeah. job and that it's not going to sort of come back. And, uh, and you know, and, 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 and I always sort of question you, don't I, to sort of yep. get to the, to, to really know that it's gone. So I'll be like, well, try and get that feeling back. And you're like, well, I can't. I'll try harder. Like, I can't. <laughs> it's like a fabulous thing, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. It Okay, uh, let's just say good morning to Tina. I can see Tina's um, joined us, so it's lovely to see you. Hi, Tina. Uh, thank you for being here. And, uh, um, oh, the other thing I was going to mention, what was it? Oh, yes, because you said about um, how the, the team members that you've got have actually been um, a sort of more engaged and more, they've got their own strength. They don't need you to sort of pull them along. They're, they're, um, they're, they're doing their own thing. And yeah. I think I seem to remember that we've, did some i like set an intention or something around that didn't yeah. we we did some discussing um all of that stuff and it's important to get clear about exactly who you do if you've got a network marketing business or anything like that who you do want on your team and really focusing on that um mm. that avatar or that niche that you're looking for so how have you um so these people these different kinds of people that have been coming to you since is how has that happened? Has it just been sort of chance meetings? What's how's that happened? Yeah, some of them um, I've met through networking, through business networking, and they've arranged to have one to ones, and all of a sudden they decided they want to join the business, and I'm like, oh, okay, brilliant, fab, love it. <laughs> um, other people have been customers for a little while and suddenly gone. Actually, you know what? I love this product so much, I want to sell it. Right. And mm-hmm. no, they're like, I'm going for this, and they're doing fabulous. Yeah. And then there's another lady who I met 18 months ago at a fair and she was like, now's not the right time. Mm-hmm. I did a party for her um, earlier on this year. And then she was like, you know what, actually, I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. And she said, it's actually, she, when, she, when she said to me that actually doing the job, she hasn't stopped smiling and her life is so much happier mm-hmm. than she's been doing, working with Norwex. And the fact that her, um, where she was, the long way back now, and she feels she's going along journey, and she knows she's got the support, and she's got the help, and she's really enjoying what she's doing. Mm. And it's fun to see people 
Yes, and people yeah. have, they've just come in through those, but then it's, I don't know, people have just almost appeared. <laughs> yeah. Maybe at parties or at fairs or at shows, whatever I've done. Yeah. They've just suddenly almost like come to me and gone, actually, how do I do it? Mm. <laughs> It's, um, it's hard to explain, isn't it? Because it, it feels almost like uh, it's almost magical when that stuff happens yeah. and people approach me like that, isn't it? Yeah. And then, you know, with your sort of skeptical head on, it's like, well, how did that actually, how has all of that actually yeah. happened? How are those yeah. coincidences happened and everything? Yeah, it's really interesting. Cool. So let's, um, so anybody, you know, if you're watching on the replay or Tina, if you're watching, you know, if there's, um, can you identify with any of Carol's story? Have you, in the past, have you managed to get rid of a block and then suddenly notice that things have improved around you? This is really interesting how that can happen. And uh, just let us know in the comments. And, and if, if you're on the replay, we'll come back and reply later on. We're, we'll just come back. So that's cool. Right, let's look at what, oh yeah, let's talk about sugar because that's a really interesting um, <laughs> bit of um, the work we've done together. It's, it's been fascinating, hasn't it? So it's first of all, you know, what, <laughs> What was the problem with sugar? What, what was it all about? I have an intolerance to cane and beet sugar. And it's something I found out over a couple of years ago. And I have um, really struggled to get rid of it. And mm. I basically, if I have sugar, it's like somebody's giving me a sleeping drug. Um, I'm fine with honey, but with cane or beet sugar or any form of processed sugar, it's like somebody's giving me a sleeping drug. And within about, Ten minutes of eating it, my eyes are drifting shut, my skin's itching, and it's really not nice. And it's really embarrassing at times as well because it's always at most inopportune moments, people think of being rude, falling asleep, and actually there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. It's like somebody has got hold of your eyelids and pulling them shut. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, it's just something I react mm. to. My body's default reaction to anything it doesn't like is it knocks me out. Yeah. And mm. sugar is one of the biggest ones that that happens with, and I have to be really careful. Yeah, so you'd been trying to cut out sugar, hadn't you? Mm -hmm. And uh, but you were finding that you were craving it. Yeah. And found it, so it was hard to sort of stay away from it, wasn't it? Yeah. So what you know, was the impact on your business when you were, you know, still eating sugar even though you knew it was hurting you? Well, it was all sort of the same sort of time, and it was I nothing was really moving forward. Mm. Uh, it'd be like one step forward, three steps back, and that was very much. It's, it's, it was thinking, looking back, it was very much mirror imaging. The mm. sugar, I'd have a few weeks where I wasn't on it, and then all of a sudden I'd lapse back, and and then it'll be, oh, start again, and it was just constantly that to and fro in. Mm. Did the tiredness affect you in trying to run your business? Oh, it was exhausting because all I wanted to do was kill up and go to sleep. You know, yeah. I still get tired days. I still get days when I just want to fill up with a book and not do very much I've learned actually I'm allowed to have those days and it's not a bad thing and I don't have to run around like a blue art side what's it um you know permanently I can slow down and I am allowed to take say well you know what I'm taking a day for me today yeah and that's something else I've learned over this last all this process is that I'm allowed and I can and actually it's a good thing to take time out for me just not too much but I can take a little bit yeah, yeah. So it was really important to you for your, for just for your general well-being um, as well yeah. as your business to, to cut out the sugar completely. And yeah. so, um, and you haven't managed to do that on your own. So, um, so how long did we work on that in in the session? 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> really quick, wasn't it? So ten, fifteen. My, my, my whole skin's going like this already. I don't know if you can remember it. <laughs> right, <okay. laughs> we won't dwell on it too much. So ten, fifteen minutes, and after that. Um, you couldn't even say the word sugar, could you, to start with? No, I couldn't. <laughs> and uh, and you were so disgusted by the thought of it, it made you feel sick. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> so that was quite a good um, a good result <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> so when you went away, oh, and the other thing we did as well, wasn't it, was to make um, fruit and vegetables more. Um, it's up to you if you want to say what what happened. But be our guest. Be our guest. <laughs> We, we did some work to make fruit and vegetables, oh I'm out of focus, much more attractive so that you'd be wanting to pick up lots more of those things and craving them rather than sugar. Yeah. And so we made them really attractive and yeah, you got, you got, the, 
you had the Be Our Guest song from Beauty and the Beast. Yes, I was playing in my head in Morrison's Isle with all the fruit and veg dancing in my head. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Which I love. I mean, I love the way our brains work and uh, do, do all of that stuff. So you went away craving fruit and vegetables instead and hating the, even the sound of sugar. Yeah. So what's happened since? I haven't touched sugar since. I haven't eaten what? sugar since at all. Nothing. Wow. Um, and I, to start off with, I, you know, baking was really hard. I've got to the point where I can just about tolerate to do bake for my kids and I make them biscuits, make crumble, but I have to wash my hands instantly. I cannot have it on my skin any, like if I'm making a crumble mix, yeah. I make it as fast as I can and I'm washing my hands as fast as I can to get it off my skin. You get that horrible sugar off. It's like, oh, I gotta get it off. And, you know, just touching it I'm I'm sort of like this as I'm doing it but mm. I'll do it because I don't want the kids to they still like their cookies and everything else so yeah. um but it was interesting at the weekend I had all my family here for my daughter's birthday yeah and I have two very young nephews that are about so they're going to be a year old and at the end of the month and uh, one of them I was blowing raspberries on his hand and making him laugh and all of a sudden I got this taste in my mouth uh. and I was like uh, and I some, and I realised he'd been holding a white chocolate finger in his hand and munching on it, and he had the res. I was like, ah, get it off, get it off, get it off! And I was like running, getting a towel and scrubbing my mouth because it was like, ah! <laughs> and everybody else looked at me as if I've gone completely nuts. And my my, my friends who was here who knew he said, only you would do that with chocolate. <laughs> and you know, so, yeah, I get, I get it off. <laughs> And it's a brilliant, I mean, it's just a brilliant illustration of how well that, that process worked for you. Yeah. And, that, and that's you know, what, that, eight, yeah. six, seven months down the line since we did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've not revisited it at all. No. It's just, just stayed, it's done and that's it. Yeah. And so, you know, if there's if there's something that um, any of you watching have uh, struggled with and, you, and it's something that you really, really, really want to never eat again, um, but only if you really want to never eat it again, um, you know, there is stuff that you can do with um, people who are trained in uh, NLP and stuff like that to help you get rid of it really quickly. And you will never want to eat it again. And <laughs> Carol is testament to that. So if there's something like that that's getting in the way of your life and your business or um, any part of your um, well-being, then, um, you know, get in touch with someone who can help you because it, you know, it really is uh, very simple to to sort out and, uh, and there you go it's really easy so i find that story fascinating i love telling it to people because they they find it uh, really interesting oh tina's just asked what technique i used and it was actually an nlp technique um <clears throat> where you pre replace something that you like with something you dislike and uh, so there's a bit more to it than that but um i've never eaten donuts since, uh, well, since i had that just like, um, just like just quickly so we basically i had to visualize bang i what i did it was i visualized this massive bank of Everything I couldn't eat, whether it, be, it was jams, biscuits, cakes, they didn't contain sugar. Sauces, the lot. And then it pressed on, and then I had to visualize some I felt really happy. And then I had to slide all of that stuff that I couldn't eat, and I slid it underneath my feet. And I'm really funny about textures I walk on. So all of this goo and stuff going up through my toes just makes my skin crawl just thinking about it. But it was it was a visualization thing, but yeah. If you've got anything you really shouldn't be having and you really can't get rid of it, talk to somebody like Cindy, get them to eat. It's so worth it because now I go to restaurants or I go out for a meal or, you know, I'm just, everybody else is sitting there eating massive chocolatey desserts and I'm like, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll just have a little fruit salad. But even when I've gone to a restaurant and asked for a fruit salad and they've sprinkled icing sugar on it, mm. um, and then I've gone, and I've touched it to my mouth. I've not seen the ice and sugar. I touched it to my mouth. And I'm like, no, that's got sugar on it. Please take the sugar off. I want just a plain fruit salad. I don't want any sauces. I don't want any gadgets and digits and whatever else you want to put on it. Just plain. Otherwise, I just have nothing. And I regularly have no dessert at all. Yeah. And I don't know. My family can see they eat apple crumble and custard, and I don't miss it. I really don't miss it. Really that's don't miss thing, it. Isn't it? So, so we're always really careful with um, uh, working with a, a client with NLP to be absolutely sure that they definitely want this thing because it will work 
and uh, <laughs> it would be very unkind if I made you never like sugar again and uh, you were going to miss out on something in your life that was a really important part of it. So, um, you know, some people have stuff in their life where, you know, maybe going to a, see their their mum and, and she cooks for them and that's part of how they like to live. Well, if they suddenly don't like sugar, that's going to have an impact. So we have to, we explored all of that, didn't we? Any impact yep. it might have. Um, but actually, once the process is done, you don't miss it. I don't miss donuts. <laughs> And I haven't had donuts since 2011. So <laughs> I haven't even fancied one. And even I can't even stand the smell of them or anything that reminds me of donuts. You yeah. know, like um, the smell of um, those sweet pretzels they do in um, in the Regent's Arcade in Chanton. I try and waft them at you and make you eat little samples and they smell like donuts to me. No way, <laughs> not having it. And so it's, it's just a permanent change and you don't miss it. But when you're before that, you can't imagine not missing it. Yeah. So it's kind of, we do a lot of work on that when we did with you, didn't we? Yeah. Make sure you were... It, the knock-on effect was, um, I still struggled with bread up until September. Mm. And actually, bread contains sugar. Mm. And I was still struggling to get rid of the bread. And then I suddenly thought, they made the tent, I spoke to you and said, right, next time we come, I want to get off bread. Yeah. Or I don't have bread. Mm. I never actually did the session, but I haven't <laughs> touched bread since. I'm not it's good. just... <laughs> that link has now been made in yeah. my head. Bread equals sugar equals that. Nah, can't touch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's really good. So that's been really that's been a really interesting part of all of this. So as well as the emotional yeah. stuff, and um, and so presumably you have a bit more energy to work in your business and stuff. You don't get yeah. those slumps. Yeah, I still get tired days, but that's because yeah. I have a crazy life. Yeah, but not. Um, it's not because of the sugar, but it's also if for something if something happens to sneak into something I've eaten that I'm not aware that it's in there, the reaction is much harder and much faster and much more severe. Mm. And I'm like, hang on a minute, I've eaten something, and I'm sitting there and I'm like this, and I'm scratching my arms and I'm yawning and I'm and I'm like it's something I'm reacting to. Mm. Now people are people that know me and the sort of my family are a lot more like, well, oh, it's not a problem. You know, you can't have sugar. And they actually go out of their way to make sure there's something there that I can have. Yeah. Whether it be a bowl of nuts or mm. some other little treat. And, yeah. you know, it took a lot for them to get their head round that, wow. you know, yeah. when they're sitting there chomping on chocolate and I want a couple of nuts, mm. or Brazil nuts or something, that and where they're chomping on the chocolate, because Brazil nuts are my treat. Yeah, yeah. And there was a few rows to start off with. But You've got it now. <laughs> They've understood. Yeah, yeah, and it does. That's what. That's why we had to explore it so much before we did the did the work. So, how has the um, all the stuff that we've done? Has, what impact has that had on on your sort of family and your relationships? I thought I was a bit wacky to start off with, and my husband's just gone. What are you doing? But actually, because he's seen the difference and he's seen reactions of what happens when I do have something. I shouldn't have mm. it's like he's just fully behind it now he just accepts it he doesn't even question it anymore mm. you know and he said to me once he said you know why can't you have a little bit should I said think of an alcoholic who's an alcoholic yeah and they then dry they go dry mm. just having that one drink them back again yeah I said I'm happy without it don't need it it's not mm. something I need if I really crave something sweet, then I get a bunch of a handful of mixed berries out the freezer, mm. chuck them in a pot, add some coconut milk, put up a honey, mix it up, and I eat that. That is plenty sweet enough for me. I don't need the sweet. I don't mm. drink squashes. I don't drink fizzy drinks. Mm. I don't drink any of that stuff because it's all got some form of sugar in it. Mm. And I don't need it. Mm. I've noticed my my my, my skin's improved. Mm. You know, I'm still working on the weight issue. That will be an ongoing thing for a number of years. But I feel healthier from within and I feel more in control of me. Mm. And I don't feel like I'm running around emotionally anymore. I'm, I'm much more centred. Mm. Mm. And that must be great for your kids to have a mum who's, who's feeling that way. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wonderful. So, um, what would you say to any business owners watching who um, might be thinking about working with a coach now, or who um, you know are aware of blocks that are holding them back? What would you say to them? Go for it. Absolutely, go for it. Mm. You know, yes, the cost can be an issue, but 
if necessary, get a 0% credit card for it because the benefit you will receive from doing it is far, far outweighs the cost. Mm. Far outweighs the cost. Mm. And what you can achieve and the way where you can go forward is huge. Mm. You know, it's absolutely limitless what you can achieve from then mm. on. Yeah. And it's so exciting to see, you know, how much you've uh, grown and how much your business is changing. And, it, you know, for personally, for me, it's very satisfying to see that for my clients. Yeah. So um, I've really enjoyed working with you and, uh, and it's, it's been a massive pleasure. So if people want to get in touch with you, find out more about maybe Norwex or yeah. ask me about the sugar thing or anything else, how can they <laughs> contact you? They can go to my website, which is www.carolcherrypanoff.com norwex.co.uk I can put a link in afterwards if you like Um, or they can just email me at carolcherrypanoff at googlemail.com okay so I'm going to write your name how do you do it hang on www what did you say it was carol cherry panoff c-a-r-o-l c-h-e-r-e p-a-n-o-v norwex is it any space, any dot between your name and Norwex? Yeah, my name, dot norwex.co.uk. I will put it up on the screen for everybody in the meantime, uh, and then Carol's going to put it in the comments for you with a link and everything. So, yeah, if you want to talk to Carol, get in touch with her. We're going to be around in the comments if you want to uh, ask any questions and um, or you've got anything you want to say. Thank you so much, Tina, for being on live. It's been lovely to have you. And uh, so it just reminds me to thank you very much, Carol, and um, I will speak to you really soon, obviously. Um, in next week's Feel Good Friday, um, I don't actually know what I'm going to be talking about yet. Um, it may well be another interview if I can organise one, or uh, I may be talking about something to do with uh, running a business, a tip of some kind. At the moment, I haven't decided. So if there's something particular that you would like me to cover, then do please comment below or drop me a message via the page or if you're connected any other way that you like. And, uh, and I will gladly talk about that. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day. Have a wonderful Feel Good Friday and I'll speak to you really, really soon. Bye everyone. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to join in live with Feel Good Friday, it's every Friday on my page, which is the Feel Good Coach on Facebook. And uh, we go live at 9.30. And sometimes it's interviews, sometimes it's tips, sometimes it's about business, sometimes it's feel good. Um, But I try and share topics that will be really interesting to you. If you like this video do please give it a thumbs up so that i know and if you haven't already i would like you to consider subscribing so that you'll catch my videos and if you've already subscribed it's a good idea to click the notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload and you won't miss a thing so thank you so much for watching have a fabulous day and i'll speak to you in the next video